can you generate code for YOLO V12 and RFDETR or just about any cutting edge repo that just got released? Well, let's find out. So I am here in Cascade with Windsurf. I'm going to try to vibe code YOLO V12. What is YOLO V12 and RFDETR? RFDTR was released quite recently as well as Yolo V12, recent as RFDTR, but it is still relatively recent and hasn't been trained on ChatGPT or any large language model. One that I don't know about. So let's ask you that question so without looking at my code and let's see what happens. Right off the bat, we have Yolo V12 are both advanced computer vision models using object detection and sort of hallucinating because I don't think it actually is giving the right architecture. It's not even saying whether it's an attention-centric model. And then it, yeah, it's saying RFDTR, Radio Frequency Detection Transformer, which is completely wrong and it was created by Roboflow. So let's just find out. Tell me who do you think it was made by? So YOLO V12, it's just giving and spitting out a whole lot of things it know about it, but it doesn't. And we know that RFDTR was created by Roboflow. Now we're going to try another tool and this tool is called VisionCraft. And let's see how well it does. <clears throat> now I'm going to ask it the exact same questions. What is YOLO V12? how it works and who was it made by, right? And now, and for those who don't know what vision graft is, it essentially allows you to generate state of the art code. So code that got released like yesterday, it's gonna be there in vision graph. So you can generate with the latest and greatest code that just got released. And we also plan to make it work for like recent. Cool, so right off the bat, we see that YOLO V12 is an advanced real-time object detection, okay, by these guys. I think it's there, but the main thing we're looking for is the attention eccentric architecture. YOLO V12 was designed for this framework, which is correct. And it also gave us some code that we can also check out from Ultralytics. But let's try the ultimate test with RFDETR. Do the same, but for RFDETR. Okay, so it's going through the process. We see that it was definitely developed by Roboflow. It's a Roboflow detection transformer. It's telling me about its performance. It was the first real-time model to exceed 60 average precision on the Microsoft Coco benchmark. That's pretty impressive. And it's telling us about the 29 billion parameter model, as well as this probably 128, which is over here, which is correct. If we go to the repository, we can definitely see that this is the case, which we are on the right track. Now for the ultimate test, I'm going to tell it to generate some code for me and we're going to test out to see if the code works first time around. Right, so give me basic starter code for RFDETR with install instructions. Cool, so we have this code. I'm just going to essentially copy all of this and paste it into uh, another instance, a new brand new project, paste it over here. And now we're going to test it out, to see if it works. Uh, I'm gonna run Python main.py and let's see if it works. Cool. Cool, so as you can see, it works for this image. I just copied the image from Instagram, so <laughs> it's not looking as clear as it's supposed to, but you can see it detected a person, the remote over there, and a laptop over there, which is correct. And now let's try it with a different image. So right now I'm running it in, there's no AI connected to it or nothing. <laughs> it's just straight up clean project. And after running it, you can see that we have detected this guy. I know it's a bit, very high res, I think this is a 6,000 by 6,000 image or something like that. We're gonna zoom in over here. We can see that we did in fact detect a person and a traffic light. 
So as you can see, this is very powerful technology. We've basically tried to get as much of the latest repositories as possible. Just DeepStream, RFD ETR, as you can see, we've got Gwent 2.5. We've got MobileNet v4, Crew AI, an agentic framework. There's also OpenAI agents, uh, SDK, that, that's, that will be pretty useful for all of us. Now, I just want to tell you how disruptive this is because, I mean, if you had to learn a course on each and every one of these, it'll take you very long to, number one, grasp the concepts, and second of all, to get the code up and running. This does it all for you in just a few clicks. It's pretty amazing. I mean, we've got YOLO V12. We will be having YOLO V11, YOLO V10, and maybe, who knows, YOLO V13, 14, 15, 1 billion. This is definitely some very cool technology and I want to get your guys and I want to get your guys opinion on this. Uh, do you think this is cool? And what would you like to see us do with Visioncraft? We want to make this like a plugin for Klein over here where you can basically do your vibe coding here and we'll also have a standalone app. So this is basically where you'll be able to generate the state of the art and cutting edge code. We're going to start off with computer vision and generative AI because, you know, we've been in that field for a while. Uh, but we will incorporate other libraries as we develop this app and as we get more users. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think and we'll see you in the next video.